You've got journalists in the room. I understand, but we can't have an open discussion. You can't even organise a cabinet meeting. And we can't have an unprejudiced discussion in this room uh, with the public inquiry that's about to take place if journalists are, are recording and writing our comments. Clearly they are. Who let them in? Uh, You've spent a day talking about the security of this meeting, and then five minutes before it starts, the I'm press are here. Now you're telling us we can't have a proper meeting. I'm told the press are here because of the, the result of legal intervention, and that therefore means that we cannot have a discussion as we were intending to have, because that will prejudice the public inquiry. What that is, is the legal? Of? That is the legal advice I've received, and I therefore have to declare the meeting closed. So what you've done is you've actually used this as an opportunity for you to make a statement, and nobody else gets to say anything at all. You could have issued that statement. In fact, you should have issued that statement eight days ago. That statement has been issued. That statement has just been issued. I would like to have had a conversation, but I'm advised that we can't do that because we were prejudiced. An absolute fiasco. This is why I am calling for your resignation. Not because of what happened with the fire, but the sheer and ongoing incompetence that this council has shown ever since it happened. Thank you. I'm afraid my advice is that we can't continue. You keep telling you're taking advice. You're taking the wrong advice. You are not facing up to your own residents or even your own councillor. The reality is that the reality is that come and talk to people who understand your experiences, like me and my family. Rather than having to go, rather who wants to answer that question. The reality is that Nicholas talks about a political fallout. Why has Mr. Holgate gone and Nick hasn't and Rock hasn't? That's the reality. And if the cabinet do not get rid of Rock and Nick, they are collectively responsible for it. I am looking to the Tory backbenchers to do something about this. Our reputation is absolutely in the gutter. They don't give a shit. That might be being kind. Well, do something about it.